So we're ready to uh, get some paint on this canvas. Uh, I'm going to choose to color this vase white. Uh, we're going to have a red rose, we're going to have some green in our leaves, uh, a wine bottle which is usually dark to keep the wine from spoiling, so we have a dark wine bottle. I'm going to put a yellow cork here, uh, we're going to have a little goblet over here, a wine glass, and uh, we'll, we'll put some gray stemming in that just to make it stand out and a little bit of wine in the glass, of course, for sure. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get ready to paint. I'm gonna be using a dagger brush for a lot of the trimming along the edges, which is really easy to use. It's nice, it's got an angle and a point, so it's good to get the shapes in where you want them, and then just a, a flat brush or a, a rounded brush, whichever you prefer. So I'm using a canvas board. This isn't a canvas, uh, and it's a bit rough. So you can see where some of the paint isn't kind of going down, but it's a, it's an actual board. It's you know it's very thin. It's not as thick as a canvas, and it's not the same texture as a canvas. So it's a little bit rougher, uh, a little bit harder to cover, but that's okay. I mean, there's different medium that you can use to for your, uh, for your paintings. It could be canvas. It could be canvas board. It could be wood. Uh, you may want to paint on paper on a on a heavier paper. So I'm going to go ahead and add a second coat uh, on here uh, to get this to stand out a little bit uh, when we move forward. But for now I'll go ahead and start to paint, uh, block in at least some of the colors here on the rest of this.
So I have some basic colors blocked in and I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to put a second coat on once that dries and this will start to uh, fill in where this was really rough on this board and we'll start to see some uh, some color coming through. So I've got uh, I've managed to get two layers of paint on the white it's starting to pop out the color. Uh, I've got two layers of paint on the rose. This all needs to be another layer of paint because remember the the first layer of paint that you put on it's a base layer it just blocks in the color of the shapes it doesn't really give you the detail that you need or the depth of color that you want to have so we're going to continue to probably put another coat or two of white on here to bring that out um, I only got one coat of uh, on the green so that needs to be done I've got two here but I need more detail in the rose as so I'll, I'll get on with that um, with the bottle I've added some different colors in here uh, so I've uh, used a little bit of uh, burnt umber uh, some other lighter brown uh, and a kind of a fawn tan color in here just to do some blending. I uh, also come around with just a tiny little brush with a little bit of black and just kind of traced around and then kind of moved the brown, the, the burnt umber in with the uh, black just to give it some shape so it defines the shape a little bit. You can still still shiny so it's still wet. Uh, and the wine glass definitely needs to be uh, fixed up here. It needs to have the shape a little bit better. So I don't think anybody could drink out of that. It's a bit too small. So I need to just widen that up and we'll put some different uh, shape into that. And then we've got our stem kind of blanked in here, but it needs some work on it as well. And then we'll continue to work on the bottle. We're gonna put a label on here so that we can identify it as wine uh, and a couple more layers of paint. Just add a little bit of um, shading down around here so basically i've taken some red uh, with a touch of black just to darken it down just to give it a bit of shadow the same as i've done in through here i did have to raise the red line a little bit my my glass was kind of floating out there so i still have to make an adjustment here on this glass but i've opened up this to make it more of a u shape that it was uh, quite small before i'm going to add um, make these little leaves on top of this plant a lighter green uh, I just find that the that green isn't, doesn't really stand out in the with this color that we have going on here. So I'm going to make the leaves just a little bit greener. So I've lightened up the green here on these leaves, and uh, I just pulled just a little bit of uh, black in. So just a little dab of black in with my red, just to kind of darken it down a bit and. Um, when I run the red in with it, it's going to just kind of blend and it'll give me some shading in here. I run it along down at the bottom where it might be darker. And if I just come back in over top of that with a little bit more red, it's gonna soften that up, but it will still give me a darker, a darker color of red uh, in my plant. I've done the same thing over here on the wine glass. I just wanted a little bit darker down on the bottom. So I've just come around the bottom of the contour um, just to give it where there's maybe less light shining in on that glass and just putting a bit of shading in there to make it a little bit darker. We're going to come around and do a little bit something up here as well once I get some contour on that glass. So I've just drawn uh, with my charcoal just a little square here where we're going to put a label on our bottle okay. and I'm going to make it the same color here as the, as the cork. So I've still got some yellow paint here on my palette and let's just come in and we can add this in. It'll take a few minutes to dry and then we can come back in and put something on it. So I'm going to add a little bit of detail here to um, just a little bit of detail on my rose and I want to put my uh, labeling in here on the, uh, on the front of the wine bottle. But I just want to show you these. Um, this is a liner brush. This is one of many sizes of liner brushes. They're, they're small. You can you can use them for uh, you know small details. I could use it to, to scribe something here on the front of the bottle. But there's also things called paint pens. Uh, these paint pens have a very fine tip. Uh, you can use them for for you know any type of little detail that you want to use that where you only need to get a fine amount of paint uh, on the brush. Uh, the other um, type of paint pen are these ones. So these are a dual brush by Tombro. These ones are paint pens by Arteza. These um, have a uh, paintbrush type, very fine paintbrush on one end, and then on the other end, it's almost like a marker. 
Uh, but again, it's very good for coming in and doing detail or highlighting around things. So, and they come in some, you know, some great colors. So very easy to use and very good if you want to trace around, like I want to do a black outline around this. So I can use one of these uh, paint brushes uh, with the marker side of it to go around the outside of that and really put some detail on it. I'm just going to go ahead and use my liner brush, a little bit of black paint. And don't get too much on the brush. And then we're going to stir it out here with a... I'm going to come over on this side and put my O in. And I'm going to space this out a little bit. And put a I. So. And lastly, 